in the previous video, I showed a shortcut for getting the ground state term symbols just by looking at kind of how many ways you can fill your electrons in. But let's do maybe a more rigorous way of using orbital symmetry. So for the easy example, let's think about what happens if you have one d electron in an octahedral ligand field. So we know the term symbol for d for one d electron in an atom uh, would be doublet d. But then when you think about having then the ligand field splitting, now we have to had, add the added complication of our orbitals. So our orbitals are split into eg t2g. So for the ground state, the electrons will be in the lowest orbital, so they've got to be here. So this will be our ground state, and this will be in T2G1. So for one electron, uh, it's actually really easy to figure out the term symbol because you can just use the symmetry of the orbital that it's in. So in this case, we have one pair electron, so this will be s equals 1 half. So our term symbol is 2s plus 1, which is going to be 2. And then the symmetry of the orbital, so it's doublet T2G. So this is our ground state term symbol. And you can confirm that this is all the possibilities because we know our T2G orbital. So here's EG T2G. And then we are filling in in our T2G one electron. So this electron can go in three different orbitals, but it could be spin up or spin down, and those should be all the same energy. So that's six different boxes. So we should have six microstates. Um, and then you can see here, the spin multiplicity uh, is two, because we have spin one half. So it's two s plus one times two, which is so there. And then the orbital multiplicity, so t, is triply degenerate, so that's three. So this equals six. So our ground state is six full degenerate. And then we have our six microstates. So this is our ground state. OK. And now, for a D1 configuration, we can also have an excited state where we excite one of our electrons into the EG orbital, so our only electron, rather. And then so now, again, this is easy because we only have one electron. So we can directly get out the orbital symmetry. So this excited state here will be a doublet EG excited state. Um, and again, uh, it's two full degenerate by spin. The orbital multiplicity is two because it's an E state. So therefore, there should be four microstates, which is indeed the number of ways you can occupy one electron in the EG orbitals. So ground state, excited state for a D1 configuration, easy peasy, we have two states. And finally, if you want to look at the energies of these states, we could draw our axes. So here's energy. Um, Keep in mind that the EG and T2G orbitals are going to be separated off only by our ligand field, so delta O, which is what we talked about here, the, our ligand field splitting. Um, I want to point out in the literature, you might also see this called as 10DQ. Um, and this also means the same thing as your ligand field splitting. So 10DQ equals delta O. So we want to think about the energy differences between our ground state and excited state. Then we have our ground state we know is our doublet T2G. We have our excited state of doublet EG. And this, again, this energy difference must also be 10 dQ. Keep in mind these are now capital letters. So these are referring to states and not orbitals, which are lower energy. So this is a kind of a, a very pedantic thing. So, but states, keep in mind that states are different than orbitals. And um, although here we have states that uh, correspond to the orbitals that the electrons are in, that is not always the case, which in the following example when we have more electrons, multiple electron molecules, that uh, yeah, this will, this will not be the case and things will get more com complicated. So be aware of that. But this is, for this, this is our very simple diagram. And then if you remember in our spectrum that we showed of titanium 3 plus in, in water, we had something like one band in the UV this, this is our absorbance, this was our, uh, you know, in wave number, our energy. So this absorbance in the UV vis spectrum corresponds to an excitation going from this ground state of the T2G to the excited state. And that, this energy corresponds to our 10 dQ, our delta O. So this transition you could refer to as an excitation, doublet T2G going to doublet EG.
So ground state to excited state. OK, so in the next video, we'll do uh, multiple electrons. And we'll see how quickly it becomes much, much more complex.